Hello, everyone, and welcome again to On Purpose Astrology. And thank you for everyone that viewed my first video and for the subscribers that I've already picked up. I really appreciate it. This morning, I'm talking about Mars in Virgo. Mars went into Virgo on the 10th of July in 2023 and it stays there until the 27th of august so what can we say about mars in virgo well mars in virgo acts in a practical and methodical manner analytically and helpfully helpful service is a strong theme for virgo aggression mars of course is aggression aggression comes out often with virgo as criticism as well as self-criticism, that inner critic in your head that sort of tells you you're not good enough. Very much a Virgo thing. So watch out for that. Watch out for that inner critic while Mars is in Virgo. War of worlds, of course. Again, on the theme of aggression with Mars, war of words. I say that because Virgo is a Mercury sign and Mercury is obviously the planet of communication. Mars in Virgo, Virgo generally, can be petty, can act in a petty way. Particularly when they, they want to be right, they want to win in any kind of competitive situation. Virgo is not particularly competitive, but if it feels that it's on the losing side, it will criticise and put down the other person. And we actually have, and we'll look at the chart shortly, we actually have an opposition from Mars in Virgo coming up um, from in Pisces so we'll meet potentially competition and blockages and obstacles from other people or situations outside of yourself. Now Virgo is all about health as well and Mars of course is about exercise very much it's a very physical sign so think about exercise think about a holistic exercise program that also incorporates not just exercise, but rest and good nutrition and healthy stress relieving uh, practices. With Virgo, of course, things can become a punishing regime. So if you do take up some new routines in terms of being healthy and exercise during Mars in Virgo, make sure it's something that you enjoy. Make sure it's a nice routine that you can do that you can fit in rather than a punishing regime. Mars in Virgo is hard working, and particularly we are asked to work hard when Mars is opposing Saturn. It strives for perfection, Virgo. Discernment is crucial. Discernment is a key word. So whatever you get involved in with Mars in Virgo, use your discernment. Virgo is actually more of an intuitive sign than it's given credit for. It's opposite the sign of Pisces, which is known to be very intuitive. And it does have some of those qualities. Build confidence, have confidence in your own abilities. Mars in Virgo has lots of abilities, communication we've already talked about, but also the ability to organize as well. So whatever your abilities are, have confidence in what you can do and what you can achieve and how you can assert your will and how you can get things done. One of the things that I will recommend for help when, when Mars is in Virgo, and especially when it's got that opposition from Saturn, and I'll say this all the time for anyone, actually, this is good advice for any time, but particularly now if you're feeling, if you're feeling a little bit wobbly, and I'll talk shortly about why you might be feeling a little bit wobbly during this period, ground virgo is of course an earth sign so make sure you ground yourself feel your feet on the ground go outside put your bare feet on the grass walk in nature even if you're sitting on a train or you're at home just ground just feel into your body breathe into your body center breathe into your heart space which is great for centering it's great for also bringing out that compassion and that heartfelt sense that you might lose with Virgo if you get too much in your head with Mars in Virgo. Move your body, of course, and be kind to yourself. Virgo can be a sign that's very humble and is hard on itself, even more than it might be hard on others. But let's have a look at the chart for Mars opposite Saturn. So here we can see in the chart Mars opposite Saturn. It's exact on the 20th of July, but it's sort of coming into its orb 
already actually as I'm recording this on the 12th of July and it'll carry on for a few days afterwards. So it's kind of a, kind of a short lived transit of course, but it's very well worth talking about and mentioning it. So it's an opposition between Virgo and Pisces. Now, Virgo likes to break things down into units. It loves order. We talked about criticism, that it can be critical. Also, it's a sign of humility, and that's where it has something in common with Pisces, because Pisces is about compassion, empathy, and humility. Although, on the shadow side of that compassion and empathy, we see sympathy and pity, which isn't helpful. So with that, whatever happens with that Virgo and Pisces, whenever those two signs are predominant in the sky, we need to think about how can we be helpful? How can we serve? How can we serve others? How can we serve the planet? But also, how can we serve ourselves? How can we look after ourselves? How can we be kind to ourselves? I've already said that, but it's worth repeating. Virgo loves order, of course, whereas Pisces is perhaps more comfortable with chaos. Sometimes Pisces brings chaos, which is a real challenge. So you can see order versus chaos. We don't actually, we don't associate Saturn with chaos, but in Pisces, there's a tendency to break down a little bit to sort of, that kind of chaos can come in. Things can break down, structures can break down, which can be very chaotic, which can also be very stressful. Mars opposite Saturn brings a test of your courage and your confidence. We've already talked about confidence and Virgo and how to build your confidence in the things that you can do. It's a very practical sign, the practical things that you can do to build your confidence. It's also an opposition where your stamina and endurance is tested by outside influences, perhaps, by other people, perhaps. But it's also the opportunity to really, to test your own, to test the limits of your stem, stamina and endurance. And you might be very surprised about how much stamina and endurance that you have. Willpower to achieve your goals, that might also be challenged. But again, using that Virgo, using that Virgo Mars to the best effect, discipline is required. Be disciplined. Discipline is, of course, a key word for Saturn also. And there might be difficulty asserting yourself again with this. Anger, anger and frustration and irritation, that is a thing that can come with Mars, particularly with Virgo, it's that kind of, pass maybe that passive aggressiveness, maybe again we've talked about it's that inner critic, pay attention to that and be in your breath, be in the present if that inner critic comes through or if you're irritated by something or someone else and you think you might burst with a bit of anger. Again, breathe, ground, center. Put yourself in your present. Remember, I am not my thoughts. My actions do not necessarily have to negatively follow my thoughts and my feelings I can breathe. Of course, stick up for yourself. Mars and Saturn can be about that kind of triangle of um, victim, saviour, martyr, etc. So think about that dynamic as well. Don't be the martyr, don't be the victim, and don't necessarily be the saviour. Helpfulness, yes. Efficiency, yes. Having the confidence to step in and be brave, even, yes. But be careful, be discriminating, be um, discernment, I think is a better word than discriminating. It's the good organiser, of course, both Mars in Virgo. Virgo is a good organiser and Saturn is about good organisation as well. But you might need to let go of some of the perfectionism of having things to be perfect. And remember that failure is only feedback. Right. I'm not saying people are setting themselves up for fail, but when things don't go quite right, it can be a, a sense of, oh, it's my fault. What did I do wrong? Sometimes it just is. Take the feedback. Regroup. Now, this opposition of Mars and Saturn actually coincides with what's known as a moon wobble. I won't go into the technical. It's very technical what a moon wobble is. 
But moon wobbles, they're talked about a lot in mundane astrology and world astrology, and they can have an effect or ref be reflected in chaotic, very chaotic weather patterns. And of course, we're seeing that at the moment. On a personal level, literally, if you feel wobbly, again, I said it before, take time out. Take time out to rest, Saturn in Pisces, Saturn's about time. Take time to rest. Pisces needs time to itself. It needs time to just sort of oh, chill, really. So if you're feeling a little bit wobbly, like I've already said, if you feel reactive or frustrated or you feel like you're lacking confidence, you feel like you're not doing well, a little bit wobbly. Again, take yourself into presence. Take yourself into your breath. Take yourself into your body and take a little step back and then think about how you can act in a disciplined way, in a more disciplined way, and in a way that is discerning. Don't get caught up in the petty trivialities, which is another danger with Virgo. And as I said, 20th of July is Mars opposite Saturn, exactly. But either side, a few days a week or so, we could say either side, if we're being generous, is when it's gonna be in effect. So pretty much starting very soon. I hope you enjoyed this video, my second video. I've got more videos coming up about Pluto and Aquarius soon. Please subscribe. I would love it if you could subscribe, help me to grow my channel. And you can find me also at onpurposeastrology.com. Thank you so much for listening. Cheerio. Bye for now.